myself into a pickle, Morty! Boom! Big reveal. I'm a pickle. What do you think about that? I turned myself into a pickle! I'm Pickle Rick! Gene! Like, what, what Bob? Lynn! Lynn! What? Gene! Lynn! Pop Lynn! Gene. I'm leaving! Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Manali and welcome to The Thought Process. When we were children, cartoons were our main form of entertainment. From Dexter's Laboratory to Sailor Moon, these cartoons taught us many, many lessons such as problem solving, they fueled our imagination, and they were just fun to watch. Many times I remember at school playing make-believe from the cartoons that we watched the day before. I mean, me and my friends were convinced that we were the Totally Spies. When we were in middle school, it brought us a lot of sadness to discover we weren't actually totally spies and there was no secret base to go to and our contacts weren't electronic. It was a sad day for all of us. Kids watching cartoons. It makes sense, right? But these days, cartoons that were geared for adults such as Bob's Burgers, Archer, and Rick and Morty are becoming more and more prevalent. Ever since The Simpsons, Animation that is just made for adults, things like Futurama, is becoming really popular and opening up a lot of new opportunities and a lot of new fields for people out there. But why do we as adults like watching these cartoons? And why do we as adults like watching not only adult cartoons, but cartoons that are just for children? Well, let's take a look. Let's explore a little bit. You find more and more that adults are thoroughly enjoying cartoons such as Adventure Time, Steven Universe, and The Regular Show. These are cartoons that are directly aimed just for children. I mean, they appear on the Cartoon Network during the daytime, like around 3.30. Not even Cartoon Network at night. In fact, there are discussion groups and subreddits that are dedicated solely to discuss what happened during episodes of these shows. Shows such as Steven Universe have threads and threads of discussion dedicated to just one episode. I mean, at a moment's notice, you will find that this show is really immature. Why are people caring so much about it? But when you watch one episode and another and one more, you find that these shows are tackling mature topics in a very simplistic way. Tackling topics such as discrimination, sexual orientation, and gender roles in such a simple way that a child a teenager and even an adult can understand them and really have a sense of what's going on in the world. Vice did a really great job in explaining this. In the article, the author goes in depth about how their mental health has really affected their day-to-day -day -day living and how cartoons were a way to cope with this. In fact, they explained that they didn't even watch adult cartoons such as Bob's Burgers, but in fact they broke it down to a child cartoon such as The Penguins of Madagascar because these were the most simplistic cartoons. These were the easier to understand cartoons. When they went to the actual therapist, the therapist suggested that this is actually a really great coping mechanism and a really great tool. The author was encouraged to watch these cartoons as a form of therapy known as behavioral activation. This is when you should repeat an activity because it triggers the pleasure sensors in your brain. So when the author was watching these cartoons, the pleasure sensors were going off and they were feeling a bit better about themselves. Kids cartoons can have the same benefits for adults as they do with children because they teach high tolerance of situation and that no problem is too big or too small to solve. Also, the reoccurring theme in many of these cartoons is the tribe of good over evil. And most importantly, cartoons induce the one thing that is most needed in life, laughter. Laughter induces hormones known as endorphins. These decrease the amount of cortisol and epinephrine that you have. Watching these shows that usually last for about 30 minutes can really actually help in stress relief because for that duration and time, you are laughing, you are having fun. So this can decrease the amount of stress hormones and as a bonus, they often don't really need much thinking and evoke one really, really important thing of our childhood. Imagination. Bringing it back to adult cartoons, Archer, Bob's Burgers, and Rick and Morty, although very wild and very ridiculous in their ways, often tackle the same things that kids' cartoons do. They will have a main problem that they need to solve, and they go through the storytelling and the emotion to solve it. Whether it's Bob dealing with his loving yet dysfunctional family and trying to grow a burger business, or whether it's Morty dealing with being a sidekick of a very narcissistic yet genius grandpa. Also, by the way, you can only have an IQ of 140 or over to really understand Rick and Morty. 
or whether it's Archer just being Archer, they always have one central problem that you they need to solve. And when you're an adult, watching these cartoons can induce a little bit more laughter because you can actually understand the subject matter and the jokes are aimed towards adults, so it's slightly funnier for us. The show's writers are impeccable in the way that they tell their stories. They can make us laugh, they can make us sad, they can make us really really think about the situation as well. Every episode has a creative yet I don't even know if it's possible when it comes to the laws of physics, but they are somehow able to solve the problem and have a happy-ish ending at the end of the day. Thus making us believe that every problem can have a solution. So watch a cartoon, have a good laugh, and maybe even a burger. Anyways, that's all for me. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna make a new video every week. And of course, leave a like on this video if you liked it, and comment below with your favorite cartoon to watch from your childhood. I wanna get really, really nostalgic here, okay? Let's, let's do that. Anyways, my name is Manali. This has been the thought process. Stay thoughtful and... You're just swerving back and forth. Turn one way and stick with it, Tina. Tina, for the love of God! Turn away or stop! The brakes, Tina, on the left, you're about to hit that car! The